The Big Sonic X Pandora is a very sought after, well, probably one of the first real boutique pedals made in Japan, used by the likes of Joe Satriani, Megadeth, Slipknot, uh, but made famous by none other than Billy Gibbons uh, from ZZ Top, obviously. And that is why the Decibelix The Reverend is called The Reverend. And this is the Reverend XX, which is basically two Reverend pedals, all based on the Big Sonic X Pandora. But this one is able to switch between different generations of that pedal with this red knob here. It's just actually a rotary switch, three different modes, and the forbidden switch, which has an insane amount of gain. So you can uh, switch between the two or use one as a clean boost and go from super subtle or low gain gated stuff with your volume rolled back to absolute mayhem and it's it's super 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 versatile and we're gonna listen to it now volume gain and tone controls on each side um, a bass switch here and you can select clipping with this switch uh, in the uh, in the lower position here and that's available on both sides as well there we go. So first, clean tone. Uh, Carl Longbottom Volvia into the Von Laak King Leo and sounds like this. So let's start um, on one side with the uh, rotary switch in position one. Gain is set fairly low at nine o'clock, level is of unity and tone is where tone is we're gonna listen to that in a bit so it sounds like any other low gain overdrive but then when you hit the clipping switch a little more oomph and then in the down position it gets a lot more oomph but then you gotta compensate because it's like um, compressing a lot I mean when you listen to it like this it, it's not that impressive because it loses a lot of volume but Stacked together with the other side, it's it's really, really cool. But we're gonna keep it in the middle, which to my ears is the lowest kind of clipping. Um, just to, to give you an example of what the gain range can do. All right, gain at 12 o'clock. to number two on the rotary switch. It's already getting a lot more oomph. And then number three. still has note separation which I love. You roll back the volume and, 
cleaning up. It's it's noisy though. But if you go back to number one. <laughs> It's a lot less noisy. All right, the forbidden setting. <laughs> the bass switch. So, um, but then you get a second one. Now let's go here uh, on the um, clipping switch. Set it down. Gonna bump up the volume. <laughs> And then both on the forbidden setting. thing is when you roll back your guitar volume, have it on the forbidden setting, roll back your guitar volume, um, it gets kind of gated. And that's a bit what you heard in the intro jam. So this is a pedal that can do um, from clean boosty amp like stuff to absolute mayhem and you get two of those and they work very well together um, and I've said this before when you get a pedal that has two of each it's amazing I mean there's a reason why Steve Ray Vaughan used two tube screamers because two of the same pedals really work together and this proves it again I really 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 love this and it can do a lot more than just easy top you get so much flavor in here I love it so let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are and uh, if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, see you next time bye